I'm Sriman. If you want to know how to film YouTube videos when you don't want to go into this kind of fancy stuff like tripods, like cameras and really professional stuff and just stick to a low budget, then this video is for you. Since I uploaded my first video till the video that you are watching right now, here are the timestamps of the five different ways I filmed my video. And guys, if any of these ideas resonate with you or like some, something that you like, do comment down below to give this channel a subscribe and let's jump right in. When I started out my YouTube channel, I started out really simple, okay? It was my first venture, I was scared, everyone is scared. So what I did, I covered myself in a blanket and then I put like a non-copyright like background video on my editor I used a headphone mic and I spoke. I did like a voiceover if you guys have heard of it. And you're covering yourself in a blanket, reduces background noise. When I started out my YouTube channel, I used Animotica. And Animotica is a very user-friendly editor and I'll get into the editor and editing in the next video. Then I moved to a more prominent strategy, which is person table mic, where I just place the camera, sit down in front of the table, look at a camera and just record. And the first video I uploaded, treat your mind as a person, reached I think over 100 views which is super amazing, I totally did not expect it. What mic did I use then? How did I record with such good voice quality? I used a mic called WS858 KTV Karaoke mic which is obviously meant for karaoke and singing but Bruh. the recording quality was so amazing and thus I just used it in my videos. However, one day I dropped it on the floor and sadly it broke. Oof, okay. So how did I record audio? This comes to my third point, which is right behind me, the whiteboard. So a lot of you guys on Instagram at shreeman.24, which is my account, my public account, asked me doubts, asked me if they needed help with physics or chemistry. So I started making educational videos to help you guys. The whiteboard has dimensions of 90 times 60 centimeters. And back to the question of how did I record the audio, I used with my AirDots. And I just connected via Bluetooth to a S9 or S10 Plus phone and I just film it. But the recording quality of my phone was really poor. So I moved to a camera called Panasonic Lumix G mirrorless camera. And it's, I think, quite relatively cheap compared to other cameras. And the most best part about it, it has a built-in mic. So if you were to like stand right here behind me and just raise your voice sufficiently enough, the camera can pick up the audio really clearly. And that was like a huge time saver. I did not have to connect Bluetooth, use a mic, which is super like awkward during educational videos. So that really helped. And how did I position my camera? Where did I place my camera? Look at this picture right in front of you. It is pretty creative. I did not have a tripod stand. I stacked three books on top of each other. I placed the camera on top. Where is this? This is on a chair and the chair is on a table. And it was just the perfect height. It was a really resourceful idea that I thought of. And then the fourth one is the video style that you're watching right now, which is just in front of the camera, you look at the camera and talk. But this time, I did not use three books like I did for the educational videos. I just stick with just one book because of the height difference. And the last part is my song covers. For those of you guys who have not watched my song covers on Tali Pogade or Adie or Ninji Kulpenidum, I used a Casio CTK4200 keyboard, which I bought quite six or seven years ago when I was learning keyboard for the first time. And basically I would just put my camera right beside the table and record the audio. And the best part about a keyboard right behind me is that it has MIDI, which means you can connect it to a computer and really con if you play something on a keyboard, the computer can perceive it, which is super rare and super amazing. So that is the five ways through which I film my videos how will my future videos look like? How will I be filming my videos? I have to see, time will tell. So do subscribe, stay tuned for my next video where I will be talking about how I edit my videos.